Okay. Okay. Today's day nine, and uh, I'm talking to Ben, and Ben has has some success with it, right? Oh, I've had a lot of success. A lot of success. The thing is that what I I really want to get is Ben's wife, her two her two sisters, and I went to the supermarket today. I saw all these people who look like they're dying. Yeah. They're overweight, they're tired, they're energetic, they look like they're just surviving. So anyway, Ben's conversation with me kind of hit home. Uh, so what, is, what, what happened to you and why you want to get your family involved? Well, I've seen a dramatic, I'm run you. I, I've seen <laughs> yeah. a dramatic change in, in the way I feel. I sleep better, I wake up in the morning with a lot of energy. I've been working really long hours because I'm a chef and doing a lot of catering this time of the year. And I don't have normal uh, lethargic feeling that I normally would have this time of the year. Um, my wife's seen the changes in me. She's been part of the research process that I've been involved with, which led me to Arnold. She knows all the information that I know. She sees how it's affecting me, but she still won't act on it. Um, she what I think is, what's a, to me, that's kind of like, this. what's a turn of luck for them to act upon? What do you think that is? My wife said, you know, you had to reach a point when you were ready. She goes, I'm not ready. And I asked her, what's it going to take for you to get ready? Because what? What's it going to take? And I never got an answer. Right. You now I said, you know, she has two sisters. My wife's the youngest of ten. She has two sisters who are dying of cancer. And she's at a sister Christmas party today. I gave her Arnold's book to take to her sister and said, you need to speak to this man if you want to live. I said, I want you to be around. You're 50 years old. You have brand new grandchildren. I mean, there's a lot for her to live for. She wants to live, but she's trying to go Western medicine way. They're going to hit her with chemo and radiation, which are more toxins, which are going to poison her and weaken her immune system even further than it already is, where she needs to go another route to strengthen her body and allow it a see, chance bananas, to Bananas, chemotherapy, that's a big choice. Yeah, <laughs> bananas taste great. This this is going to kill you. Bananas is 33 cents, 50 cents a pound. Oh, this is thousands, thousands of dollars. dollars. Oh, you think it would be a no-brainer. You, you would think. But for some reason, they're just stubborn. I mean, they're so brainwashed that when a doctor speaks something to them, it's that it's law. law. It's and law. You shouldn't question the doctor. Nine years of school to give out radiation chemotherapy. Not, is it actually not allowed to go nine years of school and give out bananas. He'd be fired. <laughs> well, the doctor, in their education, they're not even taught anything about nutri they're nutrition. They're not, they're not. Most they're not. Med medical doctors know nothing of nutrition. So how has nine days been for as far as food wise? I have been here every day. Every, he has been here every day. Every day for nine days, yeah. even taking food out with me right, right. for an additional meal. And I have yet to have anything that I don't enjoy wow. and didn't like. And that's saying something for somebody like me who's a chef and works with food for 35 years. I was very skeptical about the taste, how it would, whether it would be satisfying, whether it would be pleasing to my palate. Everything's phenomenal. Maya, Melissa, they all do, <laughs> Michelle, they all do a great job preparing the food to the point where I want them to teach me how to make it so I can go home and make it. Oh, good. But yeah. It's been phenomenal and I want to shake your hand, oh, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Give me a hug. Yeah. I appreciate all your help. Yeah. yeah. You're always there to answer all my always questions. Always there. I have your phone number. Got my phone. I give everyone my personal phone number. I do. Exactly. I'm not giving it to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come out. Who else we have? Uh, Michelle, you want to say anything? Join in. You want to say anything? Um, well, I agree 100% with the food. Look, you can see my pizza yeah. here that Maya made. Right. It is absolutely delicious. Like, have you seen better, better? I've never had anything. Have you seen some results? How's your How's everything going? I agree the same thing. I wake up in the morning. Um, I have a lot of energy. I'm not tired. I don't have to lay in bed an extra snooze on my alarm. Yeah, I can't believe it. I just my eyes wake up and I get up. Um, my skin feels. I, 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 although I do feel that the itching hasn't subsided, I'm, I'm here to do this for my overall itching for the skin. Right. You have to get more. I still more, have intense yeah. itching, yeah. but I know Arnold said, or am I? I'm not supposed to say. Yeah, you're right. Uh, yeah. You're gonna have to delete that. But anyway, yeah, I say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, that the, it gets worse before it gets better. And also, a lot of times. You're still eating some here and there, little, little you shouldn't. Yeah, I cheated on chicken. Cheated on chicken. That's it, four days I, in the I've been, I've been off the dairy, so off I haven't dairy. done dairy, but I have uh, cheated on chicken twice only in nine okay. days. So I, I know it stays in your system for, for yeah. four days. Yeah. So I'm, I think I'm on my fourth day. So it's <laughs> yeah. out of my system. 
<laughs> you know, the big question is like, that made a good point. Why do women go chemotherapy and change their diet? What do you think it would take a woman to change her diet? What would it take, you think? I think something has to scare her. Scare her. I think something has to... Um, scare maybe inspire her. I don't know. Maybe she has to read a book on the effects of chemotherapy and how the, the side effects and how it kills uh, good cells while it's killing the bad cells. I think education is it. Education. And they have to make their own decision. Yeah, yeah, I, I tell them education, you have to decide for yourself. Because... Uh, it's a shame, but yeah, I wish her a lot of, lot of luck with that. Okay, last but not least, Betty, you want to say something? All right. Okay, here's Betty. Hi. Hi. Uh, My young, is, beautiful friend. Uh, <laughs> this is day, for me, it's a, it's a week today. And I feel wonderful. I don't have to say anything else. I just feel wonderful. And uh, this morning when I woke up, I looked at myself and I thought my eyes were sparkling and I didn't have any puffiness underneath my eyes. <laughs> I felt good. And I love coming here. I love Arnold. <laughs> good. And I love all the people I'm meeting. Anyway, this is day nine. Uh, sometimes we're not, now people start, may start dropping out now, but uh, the goal is that everyone in America be at least be aware there's another option. Which means I want this YouTube. Anybody has YouTube, pass it to your friends. For the most part, every disease yeah. should be handled. Or a major improvement, which means breast cancer, diabetes, Parkinson's. And we talked about pretty much everything today. You see, a, you should see a major improvement within a month's time. Okay, this is Life from Arnold's Way saying bye. Bye. bye.